open the looper. Four screws on the top. These are cross screws. You need a two millimeter on the tip of the screwdriver and you have three screws on the front side. Remove the SD card and collect the screws. Don't lose it. Three screws on the back side. Now lift off the cover and beware there is a protection screen and normally it is fit with some tape. If not, do it now. Don't touch the screen. Else clean it um, from your fingertips and fingerprints. At least when you assemble this device again, don't forget this. Do it now. Keep it on the side, we don't need it now. Next step. This is a sample of the sandwich. These two PCBs must be removed. We need a new screwdriver. It's a 1.3 millimeter inside six corner screw driver. Take these holes where no screw is visible. These holes, one, two, three, four. They don't fall out. So lift it, give it to the side. We don't need it now. Now we see the inside. The green one is the MCU board with the JDAP programmer. And we need this Estelink V2 JTAG programmer. I've ordered this from Mauser, about 20 euros. And we only need this device, the, the white device here, the USB cable and the flat band cable. Connected to the SD link, but not to the computer. The JTAG has a nose. Here also a nose. You can't do wrong. On the ST you can do wrong, so look at the nose. Put it in. Connect the USB cable. But not to the computer, we have to download the software for ST Link before. Go to your browser and search for ST Link V2 programmer. Go on the SDCOM website and go to Tools and Software and download the SDVS Link 004 version you could also use the cube program but it's a bit more complicated but it is running on linux and mac also but as the link 4.6 is easy just plug and play and pray and normally it works at least in 2022 yo take your email address and verify and so on and then you can download the program you have to unzip it first, then you come to the installer, which you double click. So, installing. It's uh, installing the background a bit, so wait a bit. Next, 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 yes, and so on. There is no hidden antivirus or something so in the background also the drivers are installed and you don't have to reboot the system good ucaps de mouse to download bootloader i 
Anzip STM32F4 Binary. We have to change the switch to system and to USB. We have to set their three jumpers. Hopefully you have that. Now connect the ST-Link programmer USB cable to your personal computer. The red light is OK. Now connect the looper. So we have a power source. Can't find it. This red, that's okay for now. Start the ST Link utility. Then connect to target. And when there's nothing red under there, terminal below, it's okay. And also when it's blinking green, also okay. Now open the banner with file, which you can download from ucaps.de. It's the bootloader for STN. 34 version 4 version 4 is important and open the project binary file there's nothing red it's blue it's all okay check some okay now program and verify yeah just press start Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, verification, okay. Checksum, okay. Close it. Unconnect the programmer USB cable. Now, also from the looper, power source. Now the JTAG cable. We don't need it anymore. Keep it away. And pray. Remove the chopper, we don't need it. But keep it with the ST programmer. Go to flash and 5 volt in. Assemble the device again. You see these three headers. Be sure that they are in the motherboard socket before you force it in. Yeah, done. Now connect the looper again with the USB cable and the operation system, the BIOS. The BIOS is already on there, but not the software itself, the looper software, which is running on MIOS. Miles BIOS. So download the tool for this upload tool, the Mayo Studio on ucaps.de. There's three versions Linux, Mac, and Windows. We use Windows here, sadly. This is a small file. Unzip it. There's an exe. You don't have to install it, just run it. For the actual firmware which you upload with this MIOS Studio, you go to midifier.de and go to Looper version 2, scroll down a bit and take this firmware, the actual firmware. In this case it's not very actual, so you better go to on the same page midify.com go to matrix scroll down a bit and take the firmware for the looper it's at this moment a version 209 this can handle the midify matrix so you can control the looper with the matrix so you have downloaded it and now you extract it you always have a project tax for this 
move it to your desktop. Open Mio Studio. Set the MIDI input to Mio32 or bootloader or whatever there is. Then browse to your desktop and take this project tags. If this is not working because you're using Linux and you have the old Mio Studio built, then maybe the browsing doesn't have a function. You have to copy paste the path here and press enter and then start and then it will also work on Linux. Okay, let's wait a while. Okay, ignore that no response and so on, this red one just close it. You see that in the loop there's something going on. The display don't work, it's normal when you upload no, a new code. Just unplug and plug the power connection. Now the display comes up and you see everything is okay. You are now in a test mode, so you can control if all LEDs and so on are working. This test mode is going away when you move in the SD card again. Now we have an unbricked looper. Here is this protection screen and keep it in place with some tape. Take two tapes up and down because normally it falls out. It doesn't hold on its own. Be sure that you take a flat tape so you have less force on the display itself when you keep pressure on the metal case. So, you have to clean it, take some photo clothes and remove the fingerprints you made. It scratch very easy so be sure that there are no material is on the clothes and don't touch it again. Now mount it again. It's very easy. You have to remove the SD card because it's standing out a bit. Take this six corner screw again with 1.3 millimeter di diameter and the screws don't fall out so they should be in place. Just go to the holes and fasten it a bit but don't give too much force when you turn it because the material of the standoffs breaks very easy. Very, very, very easy. You don't have to take a lot of force. Now it holds. Take the cover, should fit. Take this cross screwdriver again with two millimeter tip. We have different screws, different screw lengths. It doesn't matter which screw you take, but one screw is important, I think, where you have to take a short screw. It's this one. Because there is a PCB and maybe in some cases you could make a contact if you take a long screw. So doing this middle front thingy, the short one, and for the rest don't care. Okay, screw it. You don't have to take much frost there again, but this is a metal and it will hold a bit more than this inner standoff things. One thing, don't slide away so you scratch your surface. So Take a fitting screwdriver and take some care, at least on the front panel. You 
you see this one screw, I had problems because the screw is filled with metal in this windings. You could clean this up with uh, iron, I don't know, iron hair thingy, I don't know the name for it. Yeah, that's it. Test it. Connect the USB cable, but before take the SD card, put it in, else it will be in test mode. Connect the USB. Looks good. We're done. That's it. These are the things we needed. Is the ST-Link Programmer version 2 for about 20 euros. The screwdrivers with the two tips. This 1.3 hexagon screw thing. It's 1.3. Also this sweet jumpers, this tape, this one fat flat cable which was delivered with the ST-Link, the USB cable for the loop by itself. The computer the downloads. There's the link software I only found for Windows. Else you must um, use the Q programmer, which is also for Linux and Mac OS, but there's the link is much easier to handle. That's it.